I'm Stephen Chun, and you're watching Money and Tech. I'm here with Brock Pierce, advisor for Coin Congress and founding partner of Cryptocurrency Partners. Brock, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, thank you for having me. Welcome to San Francisco. Uh, now we're talking about Coin Congress. What is Coin Congress? Coin Congress is a uh, Bitcoin or cryptocurrency sort of uh, conference, trying to bring together people from throughout the community, both entrepreneurs, uh, investors potentially even just interested parties that want to learn more about it. And um, you know, I'm excited to, uh, to be attending here the next two days. We're excited to have you here in San Francisco. Now, how did it all come together? Um, why did you help start it? Well, um, you know, there's quite a few conferences around the world uh, supporting this, and I think it's great in terms of uh, how it helps evangelize the industry. Well, bringing together industry participants is great, and it's a great opportunity for people in a uh, in a particular geographical area to learn more about Bitcoin, interact with you know, sort of key players and, uh, and people that are devoting most of their time and energy to this sector. So in the case of uh, Coin Congress, uh, I've been in the video game industry for a long time, and you know, my favorite sort of conference organizers within that industry is a group called um, Casual Connect. Uh, they have, I think, the most successful conference for the call it casual games industry, which would be Facebook games, iPhone games, things of that nature. And they host four conferences around the world. And due to my participation in that industry, I had a relationship with Jessica Tams, who's the, the founder of that organization. And uh, I'd helped them a lot in the past uh, develop certain sort of segments of what were their historical conferences. And at one of those, I said, you know, what have you been doing in the Bitcoin space? Have you been following it? What do you mm -hmm. think? And they were just excited about everything happening in this area. And I said, well, you already have all this, this fix, fixed infrastructure. You've got an entire team. You, you guys are some of the best uh, conference organizers I've had the pleasure of working with. Uh, you guys should try and do something around the, uh, the Bitcoin space. And they're like, that sounds fantastic. Uh, you know, where do we start? And so I uh, did the best I could to help them you know, get that initiative up and off the ground. Truly a pioneer. Now, you're talking about uh, demographics and geography. Uh, you held your first event in Singapore this past May 21st and 22nd. Um, how'd that go? Well, I, I had a great time. I love yeah. Singapore as a city, and I think as a, as a financial hub, it's great to be hosting conferences in places like that, or like Coin Summit just did in, in London, mm -hmm. uh, Inside Bitcoins just did in Hong Kong. Because, uh, again, the, the sorts of people that might not be participants in the industry today, but are future potential participants are, are clearly those that come from the financial services industry. What did you learn from there that you're bringing to San Francisco? Uh, well, it's, it's like anything. Uh, the first time you, you do something, uh, uh, you're going to do as well as you can do. And if you're doing your job right, you're going to get successively, successively better as time goes by. And San Francisco is obviously a great place to be hosting a, uh, a Bitcoin conference. As so a, that brings me to a great point. Why did you choose San Francisco and not other West Coast metropolitan large cities? Well, in this case, it's because Casual Connect is also here. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, Convenient. But, here, but San Francisco, right. and, and why were they here? For the same reasons that, you know, Coin Congress wants to be here, which is, you know, San Francisco and the Bay Area uh, broadly is probably the uh, sort of innovation capital or hub of the world. Now, we're going to learn a lot about Coin Congress, but what is the the goal, the mission statement of this event? Well, it's, it, again, the same, the purpose is bringing people together mm -hmm. that, uh, uh, and giving them an opportunity to connect with each other uh, and to evangelize the things that we're doing uh, and hopefully, you know, uh, educate the world as best we can. And, you know, that's when I think the, the main responsibilities, if you have the time in this industry, is to, to help educate other people. I mean, for this industry to be successful, uh, people need to be aware of what it is that we're doing and why it's important. Now, you're definitely one of the, the, the main pioneers behind this, but who else will be at the event helping educate people that are attending? Well, I mean, it's a wonderful uh, sort of speaker list that's uh, going to be here in attendance, uh, including people from you know, far away. Bobby Lee will be here, the, uh, the founder of BTC China. So you know, it's not just going to be a, uh, a San Francisco or Bay Area or even West Coast sort of community. Uh, we've got a, a great international lineup of speakers from around the world. So I think that gives a broad sort of perspective on the things that are happening here. And it helps us often because we live in our own little bubble sometimes, you know, based <laughs> upon where we spend right, time right. Uh, to give us visibility into the things that are happening around the world. Now, were there any challenges putting this all together? Uh, surprisingly, no. <laughs> I mean, it's great to always hear. Yes, everything is always difficult. But uh, uh, on a relative basis, uh, I think that this uh, came together pretty smoothly. That doesn't mean there's not been a ton of work. The, the, the team at, uh, uh, at Coin Congress have put in a tremendous amount of work, and uh, I'm excited to see how they've done, and I'm confident it'll be a great conference. So speaking of a team effort and all the operations and logistics, uh, how did you select your themes and your topics and your content? Well, one of the things that uh, having 
you know, spent time at conferences for a long, long time now. Uh, I have a, a particular view, and this is part of the reason, again, I like Casual Connect in terms of format. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of panels. Uh, I find that uh, panels are not great typically for audiences, and I don't think they're great for speakers, because uh, they're typically just filled with sound bites. Uh, you don't get a clear, cohesive sort of message, so I like the format that the conference has taken. It's primarily keynotes, meaning there's you know, a lot of, call it 25-minute presentations where the, the speaker can tell a story and convey a, a message over a 20-minute period with five minutes for Q&A. And I think that's a great format for a speaker to be able to, to tell a story. Uh, and it's a great way for an audience to be able to gather a lot of information in, in a short period of time rather than just selective sort of statistical sound bites is normally what I get out of panels. Uh, so I like that format very much. And in this case as well, it's not keynote speeches on what is my company, what does my company do? because uh, we don't want to listen to 20 sales pitches. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the format in that case is also based upon who you are and what you're doing in the industry. What is that unique insight that you have? What is this thing that you've learned and where you're a specialist and how can you convey that information to, to the audience? So I, I'm a big fan of the format. Uh, and then there's going to be some great panels covering things like mass adoption, which I think is probably the most important thing that's going on within the industry today, which is how do we get tens and eventually hundreds of millions of users or people participating in this movement. Would you say that that's one of your most uh, exciting panels and topics you're looking forward Always, to? Always, because I think that's the biggest challenge the industry mm -hmm. faces today. We're still very you know, early in the development of, of Bitcoin. It feels like we're far along, but uh, when we look back 20 years from now, this was still the very beginning. Uh, yeah. Now, um, it's very exciting. We're going to be there. We're excited to uh, have you here again today. But for people that are still interested, um, can people still come? Is it sold out? No, no. Uh, we, I think, have the ability to handle up to, to 5,000 people. So I don't think there's... I'm highly confident that we're not sold out. And anyone interested <laughs> in attending, please, uh, please do come by. Now, how can people engage with the event if they cannot attend, unfortunately? So all of the, uh, the content will be recorded. Uh, all of that content will be made available online. So anyone that misses it or wasn't able to attend for some reason, uh, you'll be able to catch all of this content uh, later. Uh, and I think that's probably the most important aspect of it. Obviously, you, you don't get to participate in the networking in that environment. But, uh, and I'm sure through mediums such as yours. <laughs> I, I suspect you'll, have, you'll get a few interviews in here. And, uh, and those people that can't attend will, will be able to I think more than get... few. We're going to be uh, really busy like you. Um, we're really excited again. Now, speaking of exciting, your next Coin Congress event will be in November, but a very interesting place, Serbia. Uh, yeah. Tell us why that location. Again, that's where uh, Casual Connect is based. They used to have their conference in the Ukraine uh, for their Eastern European conference. Uh, obviously, that's not going to be a, a good venue under the circumstances, the very unfortunate uh, uh, circumstances. And you know, everyone that knows me knows that I've been kind of uh, trying to convey the message of where we can have the greatest impact as an industry. And it's not really here in, in San Francisco. This is where the, the inf innovation is, a lot right. of it's occurring. This is where a lot of the infrastructure is being developed. But the, uh, the greatest beneficiary of this movement are the people in the emerging markets, Latin America, Africa, Southeast Asia, India, Eastern Europe. You know, it's the, uh, it's the people that either don't have ex the existing sort of payments or banking infrastructure, or those people that live in countries that have, you know, some of the of the 200 currencies in the world, the ones that are right. further down the yeah. list, probably anything, but anything below the top five, and these are the people that desperately need it. Uh, what final words do you have to say for our viewers, and uh, just to kind of ramp us up for this exciting event? Well, I mean, I look forward to everyone that will be attending, and. Uh, uh, and anyone that knows me, I try to make myself as available as possible. You know, anyone that has questions, I'm not hard to find. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, you can find me on LinkedIn, and I do my absolute best to, to interact with everyone. And anyone that knows, uh, has seen me at a conference, knows I hang out there the entire time. And I, <laughs> I make myself available to every single person that wants to talk, whether it be an entrepreneur looking for uh, 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 investment and helping them uh, well, either evaluate potentially investing myself or helping them you know, kind of navigate that landscape whether it be investors looking for sort of uh, deal opportunities for people just interested in Bitcoin and want to know more. I spend more or less all of my time talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for taking your time to talk about it with us today. Thank you very much for being here. No, thank you for having me. I'm here with Brock Pierce here at Money and Tech, advisor for Coin Congress and founding partner of Cryptocurrency Partners. I'm Stephen Chun, and thank you for watching Money and Tech. Thank you.